Hello, my fellow confused curators. I'm Mr. Church. Today we're going to be looking at the Triumph Terrace housing development bundle uh, in the Autumn Shop, and let's figure out if we should get it. Or, I mean, I already got it, so I'm going to tell you if you should get it, okay? And believe me, this is going to be good. Which comes with a shelter, a mineral extractor, and this mineral extractor, by the way, is every mineral extractor. It just looks like this, no matter which uh, node you put it in. There's the Triumph Terrace Track House. This is actually the house of the future in Fallout 4, the one that you start off in. Um, except, obviously, this one's red instead of blue. It actually does come with a door that uh, is in Fallout 4, except instead of orange, this one's blue. Um, but we can look at that in a second. It also comes with a, the vault Tech ammo storage box and the vault Tech scrap box. Uh, these four items are all for Fallout First members only. Now, if you just get the shelter... By itself, it's 1,500 atoms. If you want to get the bundle, you have to have Fallout first, and it's 1,800 atoms. Each individual item together is about 3,700 atoms. So first, I want to look at the um, the ammo in the scrap box. Now, these uh, I kind of put them in the kind of in the shade a little bit. I'm gonna bring them out to the light because when when it is brought to light, you will see the, I don't know. But just look, I just want you to see something interesting. Um, the blue on the storage box is not Vault Tech Blue. And this one is kind of a not either. They're, this one's too purple and this one's too gray. As a result, they're not the same blue. And once I notice that, I'm just not going to be able to use these in my camp. Now, the design of these, of course, is hideous as shit. I'm glad that they're finally thinking to give us new scrap box skins. That's nice. Um, but, you know, keep trying, guys. Keep trying. You're getting there. You're getting closer, I guess. I don't mind the blue on this one, but it isn't vault Tech blue. That's why I don't mind it. But, you know, if you look at it, this one actually doesn't have vault Tech on it anywhere. It just has the ammo symbol. Uh, so I don't know if that's not supposed to be vault Tech, but if you look at it, it's called... What is it called? In the Atom Shop, it's called the vault Tech Ammo Storage Box, but it doesn't say vault Tech on it anywhere, and it's not vault Tech Blue. This is vault Tech Blue. Uh, of course, in the game, it looks a little bit more purple than vault Tech Blue, but it is kind of vault Tech Blue, as you can see. I'm on PlayStation 4, so it takes about 20 minutes for the textures to render in, and then maybe they won't. I don't know. Let's look at the house of the future, which is now uh, shrouded in darkness. Now, first, let's talk about the size of it. It's pretty good, pretty big size. Um, and the door, I actually really, really like this door, and I've been waiting for it to be added for a long time. Now, when you place it down, it bulldozes about... 20 feet in front of it so all this grass is gone you'll have to put your own grass down or something because i don't know why that's necessary it also does it out the back but for some reason doesn't do it on the sides so like there's no reason if you look at the sides it does it a little bit if they just did it that much i'd be fine but why does it bulldoze out this far that is just the worst obviously the design of it's pretty good because it's from fallout 4 let's go into the shelter because the shelter has even more problems. Now, I do like how bright and sunny it is, but there's something ghastly about this light that feels a bit like a flashlight's shining on me. You know what I mean? It's just like kind of a weird, sharp sun. I don't know how to explain it, but it looks kind of like in some places it looks fine. Like I kind of like how bright and sunny it is, but... It, when you build some things, they just get washed out and oversaturated because the, there's something weird with the lighting. There's also something weird when you zoom out. Uh, you're going to start to see some weird shadows popping in and out of existence. Um, I don't see any right now. Let's just keep moving around. 
Now, if you look at the place from up above, uh, obviously, it doesn't look too good. The uh, There's not a lot of rendering happening. And the outside of the map boundary, especially over here, is not looking good. Those trees... What is this? Some kind of impressionist class? There's not even shadows underneath them. This is kind of looking like the Out of Bounds in Rainbow Six on Nintendo 64, which was just one piece of uh, one piece of paper that had trees drawn on it. That is not a good look, fellas. That is not a good look. Shadows exist. Let's try to have some. Why is there a watchtower embedded into the rock back there, you might be wondering? I'm not sure. I tried to get out of there to try to glitch out of there and go over there, but I couldn't figure it out. I'll keep working on it. As you can see, um, the fence goes all the way around and it kind of goes that way. The road goes that way. And then it goes under that overpass over there, which is uh, kind of cool. But here's the weird thing. You can't actually go near the this like opening here. You can only get this far and then you can't walk further. So if you wanted to make some kind of realistic enclosure like Okay, let's say, for example, it's the apocalypse, you know, hypothetically, you know, because the bombs fell. Uh, you can't, like, make this into a protected, gated community. Like, um, you know, in The Walking Dead, when they had that one city that they had, like, all the fences around and they lived in peace and harmony. I can't put a fence across the road here because I can only get this close to it. So I have to make my own fence inside here or just have an opening. All the zombies can come in. That's not very realistic. So I'm a little annoyed that you can't you can't build up to the wall. Like you can't get very close. This is the edge here, um, which I don't appreciate. Okay. Again, the lighting is very weird and bizarre and some might even say ghastly. I think that there are some cool things you could build in here though. And I do actually have some ideas of stuff I want to build, um, but you're not really going to have the cool vibes that we all love because of how it's laid out. Another criticism I have is we can only build one Triumph Terrace Track house in our camp or shelters. I should say our camp and our shelters. You can have one in your camp, you can have one in your shelter. But if you're going to build a village wouldn't you want to have more than one house in it like they're they're pretty big so you could even get away with just like three and then fill in the rest with other stuff um and yeah we can just build our own homes and stuff but if someone's gonna be buying prefabs don't you think maybe they don't want to build their house they want to have one that's already made and like you've seen developments and stuff where they have you know all the same houses it's not like it would be weird to have this three of the same looking house so like the fact that we can only build one in here is pretty stupid in my opinion especially when you consider some of our other uh prefabs we can build three of this is one of the biggest prefabs they gave us and we can build three of now this actually does kind of show you the size though of the house when i put something like this next to it like the house is massive to be fair like it's pretty big. The fact that I can put two of these next to each other in about the same space, like that, the house is massive. So that's probably why we can only build one. But still, I mean, it's only a one story. These are three stories. So like if, if we were just allowed to build two or maybe just two while we were inside this area, I think that would be fine. It's one static item. So I don't think it would be like like, it's not causing a shitload of uh, server strain. My other uh, my other complaint is the car bay has no ramp. It's just a drop-off. So, like, there's stairs here, so you can build um, up into the air or whatever, but you wouldn't want to because then you can't drive your car there unless you build on a hill like I have in my camp. If you want to have a car be able to drive in, you have to lower this down and even then, you can only get so low. Um, so, like, that's good, but why do we have stairs if we have to do that? Um, we do have the ability to snap doors on inside here, so that is a surprise. But unfortunately, they didn't give us those cool sliding doors that are on the original house 
that's in Fallout 4. I know I mentioned the lighting a couple times now, but there are times where I feel like it's okay, but then when I'm just like certain angles, stuff just looks wrong. You know, like there that shouldn't be so ghastly and and washed out like that, in my opinion. Um, and obviously the graphics, you know, just the way everything looks, the trees and everything like that is pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. Pretty terrible. Um, if you're playing on a newer generation, it might look a little bit better. But to me, that's not too good. There's also certain things that look just oversaturated. This ranch red roof does not look normal. Like that's way too red. And I'm, that's again due to the lighting in here being whatever the hell they did. That's just not good. You know, there's just something off about that. And like my shadow is so crisp and, and harsh. Um, it's kind of a weird light. And I don't really like it. Um, the concept for this shelter, I think, is really good, really cool. And it, this could be a really cool thing. I, I don't really think they knocked it out of the park. I think instead they got knocked over the head while they were visiting the park, maybe seeing their grandmother. And some old crows came and picked out their eyes. And that's why you don't feed the birds, okay? And instead, let's try to work a little bit harder on the projects we give us, you know, instead of half-assing shit instead of selling it for $1,800, okay? Um, we don't seem to have the weird glitch that the, um, that camping bundle shelter thingy had where stuff was getting stuck into the ground, so that's a plus. Uh, the budget does seem pretty big, I will say. Like, I can build quite a bit of stuff and not even see that bar move at all, so that's promising like i think we should be able to build uh some stuff in here relatively decently oh another thing is these big bushes do bulldoze i was a little afraid of that because they look exactly like the ones we can build and from the bush bundle and those ones are not very forgiving to work with these rocks do not bulldoze so those are my complaints and my thoughts and uh my feedback i would probably get the triumph terrace house because it comes with a door that's really cool, and the whole thing, including the door, is 700 atoms if you just get that alone. I probably wouldn't bother with the shelter because the lighting is so bad. The um, the stuff in the outside is not rendered in. It doesn't look like they've bothered finishing it, um, and it's just a it's like an it's like an analogy of Fallout 76 where you see great potential and it just isn't realized because of either ignorance, half-assed uh, labor, or just under uh, staffed, P, uh, staff is working on it. Um, the ammo storage and the scrap box, in my opinion, look like ass. They don't even match each other. The ammo box doesn't say vault on it and isn't vault blue. Um, and the, um, the vault one is hideous, unfortunately, because it is vault blue. The mineral extractor is kind of neat just because we don't have anything like that, um, already. But I don't really place my camps where there's mineral extractors, so I'm not really going to be using it that much. All in all, I think it's a good waste of your money if you don't have anything else to spend it on, and if you ran out of things to blow it on, uh, and you already bought your uh, scratch-offs for the week, and you don't have anyone to support financially, and you won the lottery already from the scratch-offs you did buy, and you have, you know, your uncle gave you all that money, so you, and you're just swimming in all this wealth and you don't know what to do with. In that case, I would say definitely get the bundle. And uh, I think it's going to be great. Good decision to be made. Uh, thank you so much to my patrons and channel members for your support. I really do appreciate it. If you're interested in supporting the channel in that way, the link for that is in the description. But liking, subscribing, and commenting are all great ways to support me as well. And join the Discord if you're not in there. And I'll see you guys in the next video.